Yammers. Who's ready to fussle their bungus? Who's ready to fussle some bungus? We're back again, and we got the biggest bustler fungus fussling bungus game. Oh, of fussle them all. me bungus! Oh, fussle me bungus, oh, boy! Oh, fussle me bungus! How's everybody doing? Before we start, we got to shout out Whack Donald and Razor Melon for both subscribing. Thanks for the subscribes. Tier one. Yeah, I know you guys have been fussling your bungus for a while. I'm sorry. We're here now, and we're ready. Gerard wants some, uh, someone to explain the icon and says giving them mad Illuminati vibes. Listen, we're a secret society. Yeah, we're a secret society that everyone's invited to as long as they're cool and chill. Yeah. So if you're not cool and chill, you're not invited. I'm sorry. Thank you, the vibrarian. Oh my god, I just noticed that you moved everything. Who are you? What are you talking about? You moved the the subscriptions down uh, here. Well, yeah, I had to for the other thing. Move us uh, maybe you? over to the left again. <laughs> oh my god. Who are you? Who We're are you? streaming on the internet. I'm sorry. You can't. Why did Which... you click that? What are you doing? Go over here. I don't use this ever. You're always the one who sets up. Who are you? Anyway, we got a bunch of subs just now. Um, we got from the Barbarian, which I think you shouted out. Hello, Turtle. Intrinsic Wolf. Uh, Chris may bite and be awesome, Chris. Hey. We got Chris's. We got Chris's out the wazoo. Just everywhere. Thank you, all of you, Chris's. All you beautiful Chris's. Ooh, someone said etch a sway. Thank you. We're playing a game. Do you want to tell them about the game we're playing? We're playing a game called Dead you? Secret. Wah, Cody the dog. Just subscribe to Twitch Prime. Thank you. We're playing this game called Dead Secret. It's actually made for a VR headset, but you can play it outside of VR headset because obviously we don't have one. Um, it's a it's a short, spooky murder mystery. Yeah. And uh, that's all I know about it. I know that it got some really good reviews. There was a nice write-up on Kotaku about it. I've heard of that site. I've heard of that site. And um, supposedly we should be able to like get through it in like one go. So I think it'll yeah. be a one shot, one kill. One shot, one kill. Hopefully only one kill. Creepomancer says, hey, this is my first time catching the stream live. Woo! Welcome. Welcome, Creepomancer. Glad Thank you're here. Thank you for here. coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. I was going to retweet from my phone that we were streaming, but I forgot that I plugged my phone in to charge. It doesn't matter. Let's play. Okay. Nothing truly matters. Well, you retweeted about the stream a, a bit ago, and it did very well. I wanted to do it for this one. We might have to mess with the volume settings and stuff. Let us know if it already kind of seems a little loud, but... Yeah. I think someone's, like, about to start speaking, so... We'll find out very quickly. I feel a little short. You're a little short, boy. September Alert was found dead in his study five days ago. Excuse you. Nobody believes me, but I think he was murdered. This house in the middle of nowhere holds the secret. There's a story hiding here, and I'm going to cover it. If I'm right, there are four major suspects. All right. Graham Wellington. Josie Herrera. No. Cynthia Peckman. Her. No. Bobby Sawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no. I'm not Definitely leaving no. until I find out what happened. I don't think it was any of these people. It was probably it was, the X. I think it was us. Oh, hello. Is our arm in a cast? Yeah, it is. We are we have hurt arm. Oh, uh, how do I walk? You, it's a clicky. It's a point and click. Well, let's look at ourselves. Not too far from my outfit, really. It's really not. Did you dress you dressed appropriately? I dressed appropriately. And your arm's always hurt. And my arm's always hurt. My arm hurts right now. So, look at yourself in the mirror. Click it. All right, in and out, easy. Just have to find some evidence and get out of here. Get on out of here. Um, a photic sound said it's Jacob and Julia's child, and that does seem accurate. Oh yeah. Yeah. She kind of does look like we had a kid. Who was then Who became you? an adult and then went to a house to solve a murder. Hagrus. A small Subscribes parcel. Subscribe with Twitch Prime. Continue. Tied tightly with twine. Love twine. I can't open it with my bare hands, because one one's in a cast, girl. Reclusive uh, prof found dead in home. Yep. Gove, Kansas. Harris Bullard, a retired college teacher, was found dead in his home Monday. 
The body was discovered by Bobby Sawyer, who worked part-time for Bullard running odd jobs. A police investigation has concluded that Bullard died of natural causes. He was 63. Bullard moved into his home on Rampo Way several years ago, but was rarely seen about town. He was a private and reclusive man who seemed to have few friends. Bullard raised eyebrows last year when a former student, a pretty young woman named Josie Herrera, moved in with him. Bullard's will, written in 1957, leaves his entire estate to his ex-wife, Cynthia Peckman. Peckman will reportedly sell the house and its contents immediately. Harris was a genius in his discipline, said Graham Washington, a former colleague. Wellington. Graham Washington, a former colleague. <laughs> the field of neuroscience is considerably poorer without him. Retired recluse. Found dead in his study. Police ruled death natural. Look at this suspicious motherfucker. Yeah, he looks like he, maybe he did it to himself. Bobby Sawyer. <clears throat> Ran errands for Bullard. Found the body. Josie Herrera. Bullard's living assistant. That's, um, that's Sabrina. That is Sabrina. Cynthia Peckman, ex-wife, inheritor of Bullard's estate. Graham Wellington, a.k.a. Mitch McConnell. <laughs> it doesn't look like Mitch McConnell. A little bit. If you give him a little bit of a turkey neck, he looks like Mitch McConnell. <laughs> I don't think so. That's a stretch. I'm sorry to insult Graham Wellington. Yeah, don't insult Graham Wellington like that. We don't know if he did anything wrong. Former colleague We know Mitch Bullard. McConnell did shit wrong. Oh, yeah. An old piano is blocking the way. I like how they they give you, like, one injured arm. Yeah. Just to be like, this is the reason you can't do a lot of things. Ooh. Are there, like, good luck talismans on the door? Or, like... Or, like, curse slips? Wait, this isn't the crime scene. I need to investigate the study. Yeah, I think it's to, like, keep out a curse, right? Or keep in the curse? Yeah, keep out the curse to keep in the curse. You don't want it somewhere. I'm sure this door leads to the room where Bullard's body was found. But it's locked. What? Gotta find the key. What did you expect, girly? Whoa! Bits. Voldemortified said, I can't stick around for the stream, but I wanted to say hi, so hi. Sorry. Hi, Voldemortified. You need to see this. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Why, hello there, stranger. Hello. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. They sure aren't wasting any time selling off Bullard's stuff. I can't lift this stuff with one arm, even using the hand truck. Maybe don't be so fucking weak. Bulk up, girl. Oh, found a key. It's, it's a, a small, small key. key. Uh. Uh. Objectives. Objectives. Investigate the crime scene. You read her dialogue, I'll read... Everything else. Other dialogue. Okay. How does that sound? That sounds great. <laughs> I just keep seeing her being sideways. So I don't think I have any other buttons than... It's just a clicky game. Yeah, it's just click, right? Yeah, it's just point and click. Because it's made for, like, the VR. So you're just supposed to, like... The small key unlocked the door. Do you think she's yelling this out loud alone in this house? Ooh. Oh, we got some Oni masks on the wall. And we got that Final Fantasy cactus over here. This is where he died of natural causes. There's a slip under that. There, yes, there is. Under that dang thing. Okay, let's get the slip. There's my neck. You're back. There's a page from a manuscript here. The man who could see with his skin. Oh, all right. In 1926, I met a man who could see with his skin. His eyes were sealed with wax and bandaged, yet he remained aware of the room around him. We held up signs, which he read, and fingers, which he counted, even when we stood behind him. After the performance, I gave him $200 for the secret. He explained that he could see as long as some part of his skin remained exposed to the air. He described it as a shift in the wind or a slight breeze on his face, the subtle motion of the hair on his arm. After years of focus and practice, he had developed the ability to form a mental image of his surroundings based only on these slight sensations. This man had achieved a form of idiofocus. This man had achieved a form of idiot focus. Granted, he only had access to a very narrow range of sensory information, but the result was powerful. I people immediately are... resolved to discover the secret of his ability. Now, almost four decades later, I'm very close. Sorry, people are saying the music is loud. Yeah, I know it's loud. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. 
How's that? I think that's better. Maybe even we're gonna notch it. That's good. Okay. Yeah, it was loud for us too. Oh, uh, you might have to actually turn it down. There's a newspaper clipping here. It reads, Eyeless Joe found dead in hotel. Weird. Um, okay. Turn that down just a bit. Like that? Yeah. Okay. That should be good. All right. Let us know if that's good. I can't, like, pause or anything in this game, so, you know, bear with me. I'm sorry. Something about this painting makes me uncomfortable. It's very bleak. Yeah, you tell me. It's just a bunch of fence posts. It's just a photo with a Photoshop filter over it. Who knocking? Who's knocking? Who's knocking? Is it a shutter? Who are you? Who are you? Matician James just subscribed at tier one. You're going to be mad at me, but I might ask you to turn the volume up just to, like another notch. <laughs> up? Yeah, up. Okay. Because the knock was quiet. The music was incredibly loud. It was. I wish that we could adjust, like, music volume, but it's... There are no settings in this game. Love a game with no settings. The Snow Woman, adapted from an original translation by Lafcadio Hearn. An old man and his son climbed a mountain to collect firewood. I'm naming firewood. our child Lafcadio. No, you're not. <laughs> it began to snow heavily, and unable to make it back home, they decided to pass the night in a small hut. In the middle of the night, the young man awoke to see that the door had blown open. A tall woman with long hair and a white kimono was leaning over his father, blowing her breath upon him. It was very horny. <laughs> when she saw that the son was awake, she said, You are a handsome young man, I'm so I will horny. let you live. But if you ever speak of this to anyone, your life shall be forfeit. In the morning, the young man found his father frozen and dead. He climbed down the mountain alone and never spoke of the episode. A year later, he met and married a young, beautiful girl. They had children together and were happy. But the night of his father's death still weighed heavily on his mind. Sorry, someone wants me to say, Lufcadio! Thank you for interrupting me to say that. Continue. Okay, was it worth it? Continue. One night, after having a bit too much to drink, the man told his wife about his encounter with the snow woman. She was furious. You promised not to tell, she screamed. And before his eyes, she became the tall woman with the long black hair and a white kimono. If it were not for our children, I would end your life here and now. I will spare you for their sake, but if anything ever happens to them, you shall pay the price. And with that, she melted into the wind and was gone. That's how I love to leave a room, you know? <laughs> Just really, like, melt so the, out of the scene. The white kimono woman showed back up and married the son, knowing she was the woman who killed his father. Just yeah. to make sure he never told about it. Panama! Panama! Ooh. <gasps> I found a button. I think it probably opens the globe. I know, I agree. It's a small box. Let's get a better look at it on the desk. Okay. Oh, you just put me here. It's a symbol with a foreign symbol on it. Underneath. <laughs> it's a symbol with a foreign symbol. <laughs> it's a note with a foreign <laughs> symbol on it. Underneath it reads north. Underneath it reads symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Something's typed out here, but the paper is so far into the feeder that I can't pull it out. Girl, that's what those little lovers are for on the side, all right? Joe. Something is after me. It's creeping around the house, trying to get in. I'm sure of it. I heard footsteps outside and creaking on the roof. It's not safe here. I've taken the idiot focal lenses from their normal location and hidden them in my study. I've sent you a package that you'll know what to do with. Check the map for the mask. As usual, X marks the spot. Harris. P.S. The sequence is west, east, north. I can't believe Harris is leaving us so many cryptic messages. We should have to read that. Ghost trot. Bullard hid something in this room. Very suspicious. This will be a great hook for my opening paragraph. Ghost trot. If you want to send us a message, just like you know, DM us. You don't gotta. You don't gotta be leaving cryptic messages on the on a desk. Harris Bullard, <laughs> I am Woodcutter. Your past has caught up with you. It is over. What's this? Who is Woodcutter? Threatening <laughs> Bullard. Alright, look at that shadow man. He's a shadowy hat man. Alright. Put that away. Scissors! A pair of scissors? I can use 
these to open that package in the other room. What package in the other room? The one you couldn't open because it had twine on it. Oh, right. Wait, look at this box. You have not looked at this box yet. I was trying to gather everything first. In, in case it kicked me out. One of the buttons is missing. Well, don't go hitting buttons. Go look don't at the... Don't go hitting buttons. Shh. Listen to me. The north symbol. No. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you doing this? <laughs> the north symbol is that one there, right? Does that match up vaguely? Vaguely, yeah. I mean, that must be it. Yeah. So he said that the combination was west, east, north. So I guess we have to find the east, the east button to make it work. It kind of feels like they're looking at me. What did they see in this room? Quantum mechanics and functional analysis. Not exactly light reading. Bullard had some pretty advanced degrees. This one is from University of Chicago, 1935. Nice, dude. Doesn't turn on. Guess it's broken. One of Bullard's diplomas. This guy's got diplomas everywhere. Didn't it, like, remove the chalk outline of where he died? No, they just leave that there. So everyone will remember. <gasps> What's this? It looks like a tiny camera lens. Circular lens. That looks like a filter. Looks like a monocle. It does look like a monocle. This room is a regular library. Some of these volumes look ancient. It's all covered in dust. Nice, put on a record. It's a record player. There's no record inside. Where'd he keep his records? It's a picture of a woman. She's wearing a white kimono and standing in the snow. Like the woman from the story. What? You think that's ever going to come into play? No. You think she's going to come get us? I mean, probably. Resnick, I have not played Box Boy plus Box Girl. Apparently it's a fun co-op puzzle game we could play. Oh, I have heard of it, yeah. Sorry, I keep hearing noises. Stop. Calm down. Oh, it was a bird. Chill the fuck out, bird. <laughs> the bird was slamming its head into the window. <laughs> That's not the crime scene. Oh! oh! <laughs> there it was. All right. <laughs> I think it was that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that guy did it. Uh, yeah, it definitely did. <laughs> it's an old book. It says... Quaden? Quaden. Quaden on the cover. Whatever that means. The author is Lucario. Lucario. I love Ooh. that they didn't like let you be spooked by it. They had like, build-up music. Yeah. But I was too excited to do my sideways head. Yeah, you move. just wanted to do your sideways head move. Yeah. Let's see if he comes back. No. Nope. So you got the old book. Yeah. What? I was just, I don't know. Uh, I, I didn't know if there was like a way to like read it. That's what I was trying to see, but I think we have to like... <clears throat> Calm I down. thought that was broken, but now it's working? What? Okay. I think that a ghost did it. What if we put the book in the book? You know what I mean? The book in the book? Get out of your mind. Turn that TV off. That's weird. I could have sworn the TV was off before. I'm looking at you. Bunch of masked figures. Alright, we got this book. Should we go through this door? Can we go through this door? We didn't even try. This door is locked from the other side. There's no keyhole. No keyhole. Okay. I want to read this book. Can we... Oh, take it to the desk. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Put it on top of the other thing. What thing? Put it on top of the box. Nope. One of the buttons is missing. I know one of the buttons is missing. Put the book in there. <laughs> the book must go like on a shelf or something. That's what I'm thinking. What was the book called? Old bullshit. Oh, I found that button. That whole puzzle was negated by the fact that I already found the button oh, by yeah, luck. You just rotated it and, and found it that way. I think probably there will be like a more obvious place to put it. If I had to guess. Right here! I found it. I can't push the book all the way back. Feels like it's hitting something. Wait, there's something jammed way back there. Who are you? It's a flat triangular wedge. There's some sort of foreign writing on it. Oh, it's a button. That's the button. That's a button. Underwater fungi party, thank you for the subscription. Calm down. Do you think that there's someone behind us? I don't know. There could be. Hmm. I have my money on someone behind us. Put that button in. All right. Now it was, if this is north, right. then that's east and that's west. So, which wasn't one am it, I? Wasn't it east, west, north? Or was it west, east, north? That's the one. Oh. Hey! That's what I wanted to find. It's a weird mask. It looks like something fits in the two <laughs> eye sockets. I love this weird monkey mask. It definitely is a weird mask. You're right. Okay, well, I have... Stick in the lens. It worked. I just need to find the other lens now. The other lens. The other lens. Hearing like a vague noise in the background, I think. Can I just like grab this and call it a day? What do I have to work with? Okay, okay. Um, we checked all those. We checked that. We checked that. Is this open yet? Okay, it's not. Can you go in that other room that she really doesn't want to go in yet? Oh, yeah, the one where she's like, it's not the crime scene. Like, why would I ever go into any other room other than just this one room? <laughs> <laughs> every time. <laughs> Gets me every time. No, she really doesn't want to go in that She room. really wants to investigate the study. All right, so we're trying to find the lens. Um, Tiny Turtle says, in the demonish mask's mouth? Let's see. It's worth a look. Uh, no. He's got teeth. He's got teeth. Doesn't look like it's in anyone's mouth. It is a weird looking mask. <laughs> These masks make me uncomfortable, too. I've already looked at that. It doesn't turn on now. I guess it's broken again. Is it like behind a painting or something? Is that this house in the background? This looks just like Gro Gove. Grover. Grover. I love Grover. Oh, Elim said, I would like to let y'all know I watched the entirety of Over the Garden Wall twice in two days because of y'all. Oh, I'm nice. so glad to hear that. It's one of my all-time favorites. I'm really glad you enjoyed it, Elam. Elam, you don't need to stop saying y'all. Y'all's a great word. I started picking up y'all, and I'm a, I'm a northerner. It's just a... It, it, it's helpful. It's such a good catch-all word. Yeah, it you works know, for everyone. It's gender neutral. Yeah. Y'all's just so good. And y'all are so good. And y'all are so good. All right, if you it's like was in a, the phone. If you was a lens. Hold on, we didn't check the phone. Who are you? Skytrack subscribed and said, I missed you guys. School sucks, lol. Missed you too, Skytrack. Glad you uh, made it to the stream. Okay. Can you, like, 
you can't like pick up that weird guy on the statue, right? No, it says that one's missing. It's just got a weird face. Why so surprised, little guy? Hey, little buddy. Hey, little bud. All right. Lens. Where could it be now? Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I've checked that. It definitely wasn't there before. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh. Whoa. Hey. Hey, what's up? Oh, there's a thing happening in the frame. Who was that? I think the drawer just closed. Yeah, I know. I thought I saw something outside. Is there something more to this painting? Must be. There was a page taped to the back. Didn't I just say there's something behind the painting? Josie. If you're reading this note... Josie. 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 Continue. If you're reading this note, then something must have happened to me. I may be dead or missing. If so, you're the only person who can save our research. The truth is that I'm being threatened. It started before I left the college. I got notes every few months from somebody calling himself Woodcutter! What he wants is access to our research. He wants me to turn over our plans for the Lunar Dream Apparatus! Josie, my life is in danger. Woodcutter knows things, secret things about my past that nobody should know. I'll not yield to simple blackmail, but lately, the threats have escalated. I'm sure that I'm being watched at the house. Housed? Housed. I sometimes hear things on the other side of the wall. Yesterday, with the mask on, I thought I saw somebody reaching for me. It's a warning from my subconscious. I'm no longer safe here. I've locked our research away in the safe upstairs. I want you to retrieve it and leave. Destroy everything before you go. Burn the house down if you have to. Just get the research and get out of here. Head for a big city where it's easy to hide. I would have loved if you said the big city, because I love when people in things are just like, I don't feel like uh, establishing where this takes place, so I'm just going to say the big city. The big city. I got big dreams in the big city. Also, thank you for the compliments on my Josie singing. I'm counting on you, Joe. Don't let our work fall into Woodcutter's hands! Suspicious. Suspicious face. Primary suspect. Ordered by Bullard to destroy their research and split. I knew there was more to this story. Whatever Bullard was mixed up in, I bet there's evidence. Love it. In that safe. Who is Woodcutter? Open the safe upstairs. Fun fact, uh, Dolly Parton is one of my three feminist icons. So, any excuse to sing... For some reason, when you referred to your three feminist icons, I imagined, like, three robed figures hidden in <laughs> shadow, and, like, one pulls their hood back, and it's Dolly Parton, and the other two remain in shadow. But Dolly Parton's face would be here, and, like, the top of the hood would be, like, a foot above, just because we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Basking, we know it's Jolene. We were just joking, because it sounds... Josie and Jolene sound similar to each other. Yeah. I'm a big Dolly Parton fan. My hunch was right. Bullard's death is definitely fishy. Better stop and review my notes. Alright. I don't have that many notes. Can I, like, write? Uh, can I write? Oh. That's not it. Where's, I need to think. It's a multiple choice. Oh! Uh, I want to scribble on the page. Harris Bullard's body was found by Bobby, Bobby Sawyer. Bobby Sawyer. That's it! That's it! Bobby ran out of odd jobs for Bullard. Could he have done it? He certainly had the opportunity. Bullard was scared. He worried about losing his research, his money, his friends, his home. His secret research. That's it. I would love if you could quiz yourself and tell yourself that your answers are right. Because if I did that, I'd be like, all my answers are right. Wow, I got 100% on this quiz. Correct. Amazing. Blackmail. I knew this would be a scoop. Somebody wanted Bullard's research. He must have been horny. killed for it. <laughs> he must have been so horny for this research. <laughs> Bullard was being blackmailed by the snow woman. Lufcadio! Woodcutter or anonymous. Well, it was Woodcutter. That's it! 
Woodcutter. What is that supposed to mean? This is the kind of juicy detail I came here to find. Magic Impact said 2 plus 2 equals 6. That's right! <laughs> <laughs> okay, to sell this story, I need some real evidence. Let's go check out that safe upstairs. How do we know about the safe upstairs? Also, why are we not the... thinking about the, 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 the spooky Oni man? In the letter we just read, he said go to the safe upstairs and get the research out. I don't... Uh, you weren't listening to me when I read <laughs> when I read the letter. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Very disrespectful. I love that I can play this with one hand. So you can ignore me with the other one. <laughs> Whomst? Who's playing drums up here? I mean, it's not like I can fight anyone, you know? So if they're gonna kill me, they're just gonna kill me. Left or right? Good question. Take your pick. What do you think, hun? I mean, I would answer, but you probably wouldn't hear me. I'm listening. I I'll, I'll go with, with your choice. Think... Left petite. Julia left petite. You said left, I'm going left. Oh, it's a nice little bedroom. Oh, there's a mirror to spook us later. Someone gonna be in here? Peekaboo! Who's in here? Oh, disappointing. Not much of interest. Not yet. It doesn't seem to be a lot in this wardrobe. Hero says helicopter may win Vietnam War. <laughs> One helicopter? One helicopter is going to really bring it home. A Medal of Honor winner from... Ca oh, Da Nang, South Vietnam. A Medal of Honor winner from Kansas said today the helicopter may win the war in South Vietnam. Marine Maj Major Douglas. <laughs> Major Douglas, Big Tom Thompson. Ground control to <laughs> Maj Tom. <laughs> 39 of Fortuna won the nation's highest military award during World War II, manning a bazooka in Iwo Jima. <laughs> Why are we learning about this? I'm still just laughing at my crack control to Maj Tom. Major Tom is attached <laughs> to the Marine Helicopter Squadron operating along the coast and northern border of South Vietnam. Thompson's father lives in Wichita, Kansas. As, the le as a leatherneck... Thompson destroyed 16 Japanese strong points and killed 75 Japanese on Iwo Jima in 1945. He's a mass murderer. <laughs> He's the only Medal of Honor winner currently serving in Vietnam. The most effective weapon the Viet Cong uses is terror, the big pipe-smoking Marine said. The most effective one against them is the helicopter. This man just fucking loves helicopters. All right, you ready? This guy's a damn helicopter. You ready? <laughs> she looks so suspicious of herself. Hello! Right. There's a bride. A bride. A bride. Is there going to be a monster in the box? Oh, boy. Something. A handprint. <laughs> My God. Something is holding the lid closed. It's a small child inside the box. Doesn't want to come out. There's a small dial mounted on the front. I can't do anything with that, huh? I assume we have to find something. It <gasps> might say reporter on my desk, but I spend most of my time at the Standard making coffee for my editor. I'm tired of writing the gossip column. This story is my shot at the big leagues. When I prove that Bullard was murdered, all the big papers will come calling. All the big papers. <laughs> this in the big town. city. In the big city. <laughs> all the big papers in the big city. I'm going to be a big reporter in the big city. For the big paper. Can we... There's a paper under the bed. I'm trying. Lord knows I'm trying. Body was in the way there a little bit. What do we have here? Porn. Dear Diary, today's an anniversary. <laughs> it was five years ago today that I found Dad's name on an old research paper at the U of C. He had written it in 1933, eight years before I was born. I didn't know he had gone to college. I'd never really thought about his life. He was just a name on my birth certificate. 
Dad ran out on Mama after the war. Oh. He had gone off to fight and just never came back. When he stopped writing, Mama thought he'd been killed. I remember her crying at the kitchen table. The war ended. Life went on. Mama died without ever finding out what had happened to him. I used to hate him. Hated the idea of him. Hated my mother a little bit, too. I figured Dad was just a deadbeat who ditched Mama because he didn't want a kid. But then I found, when I found his name in the library, something changed. I couldn't stop thinking about him. Deadbeat dads don't study physics, do they? What is he doing now? I mean, they might. What does he look like? Is he married to somebody else? You know if you study physics, you can't be a yeah. piece of shit. If you got physics, you're a good dad. <laughs> I traced him here to Kansas, but finding him is taking longer than I expected. Is her dad the victim? Wah, wah. I thought Josie man? was his, like, girlfriend. No, his Josie new... was his living assistant. What? I thought Josie was his new, like, wife or whatever. No. Aha! I found something. Bobby. <laughs> Here's your latest chapter all typed up. This is Joe. I think this story is becoming very interesting, and I'm sure you can get it published. I hope you don't mind, but I made a few edits and inserted a few details here and there. I'm looking forward to your next chapter, Joe. Harris, I'm just a simple girl named Joe. I'm just a simple girl named Joe. <laughs> the Crystal Cave by Bobby Sawyer. Chapter oh, that's three. the um, assistant dude. Yes. Who found the body? <sighs> the man had been dead for hours when they found him. He had crawled halfway up Sarah Johnson's porch steps before coming to rest just outside the door, his feet dangling off the edge like spaghetti that someone had cooked too long. All right. Old Sarah just about keeled over when she saw him. The man was inked. Weird lines crisscrossed every inch of his skin like Indian war paint. Even his eyelids were marked. The tattoos made him look like some African shaman out of National Geographic, except that he was white and was wearing work overalls two sizes too big. Jimmy, the only cop on duty at six in the morning, thought maybe the man had escaped from a chain gang. <laughs> All right. Jimmy was never the sharpest tool in the shed. Detective Henderson, though, he's as smart as a whip. He had photos taken of the body, all naked and everything. He put the pictures up on the wall at the little station in the middle of town and started moving them around, turning them this way and that until the tattoo edges started to line up. It took him three days, but he put it together just like a jigsaw puzzle until the thick lines all connected to the thin lines and the overall shape became clear. Would you believe it? It was a map. I love the casual racism of the 1960s. <laughs> when the coroner cut the man open, he found his insides were all twisted into the same map. Wow, that's impressive. All right. And when they sawed into the man's bone, they found the map there too, etched into the marrow like rings on a tree stump. Well, that's how we first found our way to the cave. Aspiring fiction writer. I mean, I want to hear more. Helping Bobby with his writing. Well. Alright. Well, hello there. <laughs> How you doing? There's definitely going to be a window jump scare at some yeah, point. Yeah, this window is painted shut. Huh. <sighs> What a book. I love that that chapter, by the way, was like two pages long. It was a very short chapter. All right. I guess we're going to the other room now. Brace for scare. Brace for scare. No scare yet. But I know it's coming. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I can feel it coming back again. Oh, I thought you were singing Phil Collins... I can feel it coming in the air tonight. I Hold wasn't. On. I wasn't. It's a plate with a circular dial. I found it. I solved the box. I solved the God, box. Those handprints are the scariest things that happen in this game so far. <laughs> Every time I'm like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't click that. <gasps> Phil told me to cover Bullard's death. But he's just looking for gossip about the young assistant. But I took it seriously, did the research, followed every lead, like a real journalist would. It paid off. I found something everybody else missed. A note, a half thought, scribbled in the margins of the coroner's draft report. It read, 
hypothermia in summer. I like the idea that <laughs> coroners are just like, now, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, detective, but like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I like that he wrote hypothermia in summer as a note scribbled in the margins of his report instead of as the actual report. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what you're supposed to be reporting on, Yeah, that's dude. what that's what coroners do, that's my dude. That's your whole fucking job. Oh, yes, yeah, so I'd love to put just wood on top of my hardwood floors with no protection. <laughs> that was the most Julia complaint. <laughs> <laughs> fucking great interior design, Harris. Get something to put under the wood so you don't scratch it all up. And then also the stuff doesn't seep into the floor. You gotta get protect your floors. God. Fuller must have been enjoying reading in front of the fire. Hello! <laughs> I'm here. Oh, wait, I said you could equip the goggles. Look up. Torn up photos here. Hold on. Wait, but goggles... <sighs> <laughs> Someone... Ah, cha, cha, cha. <laughs> That's his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I smell a clue. <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's where that goes, lady. Okay. Okay. Close enough. It's an old photo of two men on a ship. Yeah, Ooh. no shit. James, James Lowry, Lowry and Harris Bullard. USS Essex. If you tit tab, you can put your goggies on. The only way is Essex. Put on your goggies. Yeah, let me be this monkey now. Oh, there's gonna be a homeboy on the like, ceiling or something. Oh, there he is. <gasps> you, uh, I... do you... you got some problems <laughs> with there... your anatomy. <laughs> is there anything you want? <laughs> That's, um, you're very limber. How long you been doing <laughs> yoga for, my friend? Can we help you, or... You, um... Are we good? You just... You really just gotta hang out there, huh? Alright, well, it's a free country. Alright, you enjoy. I guess you as the reporter are not concerned by that. If I put him on here... Is he still gonna be there? <laughs> hey, he's looking in a different direction now. <laughs> What you looking at? What you looking at, bud? All right. Harris Bullard, I am Woodcutter. I know your secret. James Lowry sends his regards. This sounds like the uh, sibling to Lore Librarian. No, <laughs> I'm the Woodcutter, a different person. This Woodcutter character is my prime suspect. <laughs> I bet his blackmail scheme went south, so he killed Bullard. Wow, what a reporter. Regular old Detectorino. Bullard bed. Everything's boxed up and ready to move out. Okay, but I want that sheet of paper that's on the thing, the lady. Give me that. Give me that sheet. Give me. Give me. Here's the safe, but it's locked. Find the safe, company. Alright, just gonna stay there then. Are you gonna like jump on my back when I start go through the door or something? He's gonna get you. You gonna get me? I want this piece of paper. Okay. I feel I like, like you almost had it. Yeah, do that. Do that. Oh, that's the damn bed. Mm. Yeah, go oh, to here the we window. Go. Here we go. To the window! To the wall! H. Buller, Daily Log, November 2nd, 1964. We did a test run of the idiofocal lenses today. At first, we did not know how to interpret the results, but now I believe they are working better than we had anticipated. Instead of an unfiltered stream of sensory information, what we are seeing is subconscious memory. The lenses distort in response to visual stimuli that the wearer has some knowledge of. They see what my conscious mind cannot. Josie proposed that what we are really doing is mining dreams. Dreams are, after all, a form of idiofocus. A time when the subconscious comes forward and shows us truths that we might not otherwise recognize. What we are striving for is unrestricted access to dream thought. As a control mnemonic, the mask works pretty well. I could tell that Josie was dubious at first, but now she understands. Subconscious thought is potentially dangerous to the subject. 
we will need a physical object to enable the mind to compartmentalize, providing the wearer with some degree of cognitive protection. Mm -hmm. A permanent augmentation will require a much larger apparatus. Yeah. We will need some other kind of focus mnemonic to help the brain control the deluge of dream information it will receive. Mm -hmm. Something large and ubiquitous. The moon, perhaps. Yeah, 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 yeah. This room is like a tomb. The air is so stale I can barely breathe. So he's mining dream thought and needs the moon to do it better. Yeah. So is this why you're seeing these like spooky mask people? Because you saw the masks on the wall and they spooked her out and so now they're part of her subconscious? I guess so. Is that what it's implying? I don't know. You know, I bet this game is genuinely scary in VR. Oh, if it were in VR, I would be very scared. Yeah. Playing things in VR is very scary. But, like, right now... Hello! Should we look at him? Yeah, definitely. Oh! <laughs> Your head got twisted. You're right there, bud? Don't get it twisted. Uh, Vegan Luigi asked if you could open the drawers. Did you open all the drawers? In what? In the room. In there? On the thing. Yeah, hold on. Let me go back. Chugga, 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 chugga. It's a good question. Vegan Luigi. Everything in the drawers has been packed up already. Does that answer your question, Vegan Luigi? Vegan Luigi! God, wow. A, wow. 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 wow, coming in here asking those kinds of questions. Wowie. <sighs> wow. Real amateur hour, you know what I mean? Alright, so we're definitely going to see something in the mirror now, right? If we use our special mask. <laughs> she doesn't want to get moved <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, Space Piggy said you can look in the fireplace, though. Oh. Okay. I don't know if you ever looked in the fireplace. That's true, I did not. I tried to, but then I kept walking past it. God, what are my legs broken too? I'm shuffling so slowly. The fireplace is filled with blocks. What if you put your mask on? Nope. Hey. Hey, bud. Hey. Hey, bud. Hey. The mantle? Nothing on the mantle. Or is there something on the mantle? On the left, there's a page. <gasps> there's a page. There's Another a page document per... on the mantle. Thank you, whoever pointed that out. Unlike Vegan Luigi. Unlike Vegan Luigi. Unlike Vegan Luigi. <laughs> March 26th, 1958. Harris, how was your conference in Chicago? I can just imagine you prancing through the streets like Gene Kelly, swinging on lampposts and declaring yourself to be of such, such grand importance. Could you remember your lines? Was the audience rapt? Oh, my dear Harris, did you find a little chickadee to take back to your hotel a this chickadee. time? chickadee. I'm just kidding, Vegan Luigi, I love you. <laughs> While you were gone, I had old Sam come over and change the locks. Old Sam, as you opposed to that young Sam. You left a few things here, which I have relocated to the curb for convenient pickup. I do admit that a few of your possessions may have ended up in the street, but in all honesty, they do not look out of place there. Do you remember the last thing you said to me, Harris? It was almost in passing as you slammed the door, but I heard it very clearly. You said you haven't got the guts. Well, I do have the guts, you rat. And I'm throwing you, your shabby things, and these last six wasted years of my life into the rubbish bin. If I catch you around here again, I will alert the police with the sound of my shotgun. Forever yours, Cynthia. You know, she's very wonderful kerning. Yeah. You know, like her handwriting's just impeccable. Also, that's a savage message. Yeah, it is. Through bullet out of the place. Divorce ensued? Divorce. Divorce. Alright. The fireplace is full of logs. Alright. Back in this room to open up the box. Should we look around with the lens? Yeah, put on the monkey mask. Oh, he's kneeling in front of it. 
Is this us? I think it's the Hitman. It does look like the Hitman. The very special box. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we moonwalk every time. All right. Yeah, I know. Put the thing in the hole. And let's -a go. All right. It's a rotational puzzle. I see. Oh, whoops. That was right. But you have to make oh. it match the middle. Oh, the middle is what I got to turn. The middle is what I got to turn. There we go. There we go. What a cool it's not symbol. really much of Although, a lock. It looks like the logo for Air Japan. Yeah. Also, Japan be, it's just really easy to solve. It's, it's a, a small wooden knob. knob. Listen, Harris is dead. You don't need to, you know, make fun of him more. Agatha Christie. Looks like Josie's books. Josie, Josie's, it looks... <laughs> 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 it looks like Josie's stuff. Linen's books. Was that it? I went in here just for a knob. Came in here for a knob, did ya? I came in here for a knob. Wait. Use your special mask. Who are you? Who are you? Talendal, subscribe with with prime. Maggie Talendal. All right, I guess that's it. Should we put the mask on and look in the wardrobe? A fun question. Because it was suspiciously empty. A fine question, my dear. Ah, oh, it's so bright in here. Never mind. Oh, the guy's gone. Since you've been gone. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get out of this room. What do we use the knob for? I wonder if it's for... The record player? The door. That we couldn't open. Mm. We opened that, right? I don't know. Go look at it. I think there was a... Oh, there was an article in it. An article in the paper. Yeah, so far the creepy guy has indicated where there's things to find. Made to chat. You What's are... Up? <laughs> <laughs> you are correct. Because we've seen two creepy guys so far. Oh my goodness, run! Oh, you hide in there. Maybe. Yeah. They'll never find you here in one of the only hiding places that there are. <gasps> He's entered the chamber. I was just talking about this guy. This is so funny. If this were VR, I'd probably be peeing my pants. Yeah, a lot of people in chat are peeing their pants anyways. <clears throat> I just, I love his little like, yeah, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> I've caught you. I'm the woodcutter, probably. It was a very Donkey Kong beat. Yeah, it Throws was. All. Ding, 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 ding. I think you can leave now because he's gone. He stopped playing the drums. You think so? Oh, no! He wasn't gone at all. <laughs> oh, God. Well, where was I supposed to go? Maybe you were supposed to hide somewhere else. Maybe that was the wrong hiding place. What other hiding place was there? <clears throat> that was very funny. <laughs> I thought for sure he was gone. Where was I supposed to hide, though? Like, really, though? There was no place to go. Listen, we unlocked one of the endings. I think when you go back out, he'll chase you again. Yeah, but <clears throat> I want to know where I'm supposed to be going. Can you go, like, under the bed or something, I bet? Or maybe in the other room, there's somewhere to hide. 
Well, if we try the other room, then we're going to get got if there is no place to hide. But we can't hide in there. He just waited outside. He knew you were in there the whole time. Uh, I think you got to go to the other room. People are saying window. This window is painted closed. Yeah. Malicious just... Machination said maybe use the mask. To look at him? Maybe if you look at him with the mask. All right. I'm going to try looking at him. Everyone prepare yourself for a spook because yeah, I'm going to look at him with a mask. We're going to look at him with I'm a gonna mask. I'm going to look at him dead in the eyes. It also says to run. That's true. It does. Oh, there's a wardrobe in here, too. A window. Go to window. <laughs> Peace, motherfucker! <laughs> Ending E. <laughs> Fell out the window. Broke your legs. I broke my, my arm already. Wait. What? What is happening with that snow? I'm kicking up so much snow. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Quoth the raven, cock up! I have not stopped walking. Oh. Alright, you know what I think we should do? Never mind, can't do it. Let's continue. You gonna look for your mask? Yeah, I mean, I tried to use it. Uh... I'm in the ocean. Oh. oh, fuck. Someone was standing back there. He's still standing there. What if you walk towards him? I can't. I can't. Can't you? No, I can't. Oh. Then I guess go the one way you can go. It appears to be this way. Are we like in a Lost Woods situation? Are we supposed to like go towards Boyd's or something? He's still back there. Oh, he's closer. Freaking creepoid. All right. Um, do we go towards lanterns or something? All right. Well, I can only go left or right. So. All right. All right. Progress. 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 That was a good way to go. There's like. There's a lantern that way. Yeah. There's right? also one that way. But this one. It's like a lit. Shit's lit. Shit's lit. Let's go towards this one. Go towards one. the lit. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, ladies. I'm going to keep going towards the lit lantern. Go towards why not? the lit one. It's a door. It's a monkey. It's a monkey. Hello. Hello, love. What is going on here? How hey, got a mess that looks quite like you. He's got Sonic's teeth. <laughs> I don't understand. Girl, neither do I, but let's go. Hmm. Into the uh, meat freezer? Raven Jade said hypothermia in summer. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. How's it going? I don't have my it mask, so. not threatening at all. What's going on? I like your shoes. Uh, oh, I like your whole outfit, my dude. Let's talk about that it. That looks like the guy who got killed wearing a mask. It most definitely is. Or maybe it's like the friend, the colleague. No, I think you're right about the dude. Yeah, unhappy. I think it's the scowling. colleague, because the colleague was bald also. Yeah? He was bald and you said he looked like Mitch McConnell. <laughs> yeah, I did. Alright, let's go. The man in the raincoat! Was that woodcutter? Must have hit my head. Yeah, he must have. Better go back in the house, I guess. Leave! You should quit that. Leave? I won't be scared off that easily. <laughs> Why not? 
This axe is stuck so deep in the ground that I can't get it out with one arm. Also, the handle on it is massive. Yeah, we're really tiny. Why is my hand splayed out like that? Uh, <laughs> I can't grab it. It must have hit my head. Like, literally nothing is keeping this woman here other than that she wants to be a big reporter in a big city. I can run away. Oh. Run away. Let's get that ending. I bet it's an ending. I need to get out of here. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I'm not getting killed over some yes. stupid story. Yes, let's go. Oh, we were sitting. Okay, we got ending C. All right. Nice, we did it. We got two endings. Pew, pew, pew. I'll never know what really happened to Harris Bullard. I was a fool. No story is worth risking your life. That's true. I'm stuck here in Kansas, writing the gossip <laughs> column with my broken-ass arm. It may be boring, but at least it's safe. I guess I can live with that. There will probably be other job opportunities. Dead secret. <sighs> well, we did it, guys. Uh, That's Jacob dead please no just writes rational ending. <laughs> yeah. Can you like? There we go. Interesting. Okay, we got ending C. Is. Alright. Let's continue. Let's continue. Oh, get my story. I don't know why. <laughs> Even if it means being fucking dead. Yeah. I love to be dead. So wait, that ghost that killed us. Yeah. Was just like hanging out behind us that first time. But he did disappear. As we watched. A new room. I'm not leaving until I figure out what's going on. I love to die. I love dying. I love death. I love death and dying. Dr. Bullard, I followed your instructions to calibrate the Tempest Prognosticator. Your concern was correct. The bottles must be placed from heaviest to lightest to produce accurate results. Bullard's research is crucial to the story. I wonder if I can get this thing working. You better calibrate the Tempest Prognosticator. <laughs> That's definitely got to get calibrated. Who are you? Salty Dalty subscribed. Thank you, Salty Dalty. Flashlight batteries. We got some jams. The door is stuck. There are electronics inside, and it looks like a battery. Okie dokie. Right. A bottle marked with the letter B. There's a leech inside. Okay. A strange device with bells at the top. There are slots for small bottles. So we gotta fill it with bottles, from most to least or whatever. I guess the scales are for weighing the bottles against each other. Yeah. We've got a puzzle, ladies and gentlemen. Let's find some bottles. As long as old Scrunchy doesn't show up, I'm having a good time. Red hand. Marguerite Higgins is my hero. She won a Pulitzer for her reporting in Korea. I she sounds like one of those of her. robot YouTube videos. Zones, yeah. With the, <laughs> the boy lost Nothing his dog. She, she goes to war story. zones, marches with Marguerite the troops. Higgins you would not believe what happens next. Just because her life is in danger. Neither will I. I think that's different, because no one's asking you to do this. And no one cares. November 15th, 1960. Dear Harris, I read in the paper today that you received a special award from the college for groundbreaking research. I'm writing to wish you my sincere congratulations. I've said some things that I regret, but today I wish only to extend good wishes to you and your future endeavors. Turn to page two for savagery. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the scene in North by Northwest when Cary Grant disrupts an art auction? He makes nonsensical bids until the police are called to haul him away. I saw it last summer at the cinema we used to drive to... The cinema we used to drive to in Logan. That was a weird sentence. It was lonely to go alone, but that scene made me smile. 
My life feels like that sometimes. I poke my head up and say something crazy every now and then just on the off chance that someone will take me away from all this. I'm no Cary Grant. I'm... I poke my head up and say something crazy I'm... every now and then I fall apart. And I need you more tonight. I need you more than ever. <laughs> I would like to hear from you. Please write me back sincerely, Cynthia. Sorry for the savagery. She, <clears throat> Mrs. Bullard? Alright, we gotta do this. The monkey maze. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's looking at the thing. So, Oni Mask Guy's a good guy. Oni Mask Guy's good, other than the time that he was just fucking hanging out on top of a Well, he was showing place. you the, where the note was that you needed to find. Kind of! What is that? Is that a piece of paper or something? There's something down there. Right? Can you walk towards that door and, like, turn around? That's a piece of paper. <clears throat> H. Buller, Daily Log, June 11th, 1965. Using the moon as a trigger for the lunar dream apparatus has its problems. <laughs> Mainly that it's all just made up mumbo jumbo <laughs> bullshit that I've written down. Also, because I can't actually get the moon. <laughs> I can't use the moon. The moon must be full or nearly so. The night must be clear and the process must be started at a very specific time to ensure that the moon is visible from inside the chamber. Josie's been following weather reports and using lunar charts to try and predict days for ideal test conditions. But it's an error-prone <laughs> progress. The data we get back from the weather service just isn't precise enough. Today I hit upon the solution. We've built our own weather device. That was a solution? Alright. In fact, we can base it upon an exceedingly accurate design from a century ago. The Tempest Prognosticator! I'll have to make some modifications for our purposes, of course. I'm sure that with some tuning, we can build a device that responds exactly to our weather needs. Then we'll need to get some leeches. Someone made a very funny comment. Um, Lidl Lee says she misses that she can't kill him again. Cynthia. Oh, yeah. The savagery. Built a strange device to track the phases of the moon. You could just look it's out your window, my dude. It's not a strange dude. device. It's the Tempest Prognosticator. Um, alright, are we going into this room? I'm so scared this, this stupid guy's gonna show up again and I'm gonna have to die again. Hoopst. There's a note on the back of the piano. Oh, is that the noise I'm hearing? Sounds like someone's hitting Ooh. the... Someone's hitting keys. Uh, Runcible Shaw said, I work for NASA and this is 100% accurate science. Yep. So we have the backing of NASA. Do you have the, uh, whatever prognosticator to, uh, track the face of the moon? Because if you don't, you really should get one, you know The what I mean? Tempest Prognosticator. Tempest Prognosticator. I bet NASA doesn't got one of those. What are you even doing over there? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The Crystal Cave by Bobby Sawyer, Chapter 8. Can't wait for this vaguely racist story again. The passage continued downward, a steep slope like we were going down a hill. The smooth crystal didn't give our feet purchase, and we were trying our best not to slip. It was dark as night, but the light from our helmets reflected strangely from the walls, making them dance blue. Once or twice I thought I saw a flicker in the glass, but it was just a trick of the light. It was cold down there. None of us was wearing a jacket. It dawned on us that we had come totally unprepared. A few hours before we had been whooping and shouting, excited by the crazy angles that cut the crystal entrance out of the cave wall. Sure that we'd found something that was going to make us rich. Now we walked in silence. Henderson's face wore a hard, determined look. Johnson's was all suspicion. Jimmy just looked scared, his skin pale and his eyes wide. I opened my mouth to say something to him, then shut it. Either we'd find a way out, or we'd die down here. All there was to it. It was then that Johnson screamed. <gasps> Cat, ah! Cat the Red is going to bed, and it's a birthday tomorrow. More like Cat the Bed. Yeah. Am I right, gamers? Yeah. Um, happy early birthday, and uh, good luck with your workout. Good luck with your workout. If it makes you feel any better, Cat the Red, we'll be working out tomorrow morning as well. Oh, are we? Mm-hmm. So we'll be with you. We stand with you. Piano chair's been knocked over. At least I will. I don't know about this one over here. Ooh, another article about... Give me. 
You can't be caught red-handed if you're not red-handed. Dad took me to Wichita once before he died. We drove for four hours to get there, ate hamburgers, and watched a movie. Ate hamburgers. Then we went home. <laughs> he never explained, just told me to get in the car. I guess he knew he was going to die. What are you talking about? All right. All right, let's read another article about helicopters. National, do you want me to read this one? Go for it. National mm. recognition for local college, Washington, D.C. The National Academy of Sciences announced its annual picks for leaders in science academia on Wednesday. Among the recipients... Totes wants to ban me. Oh, among the recipients of this prestigious award was our own Oakley College in Logan. The college won recognition for a controversial research paper published by the school's small neuroscience department last year. We are very proud to have our work recognized in this way, said Dr. Graham Washington. Wellington. Dr. Graham Washington. Thank you. Chair of Oakley's Brain Studies Program. Maybe they can figure out if we're a brain genius or a brain idiot. <laughs> Let's go to Oakley's. Um, we are a very small program focused on areas of research that the big schools ignore. We applaud the Academy of Sciences for giving us the chance to prove ourselves. The award-winning paper, authored by Washington and Dr. Harris Bullard, was written in 1962, but only published last year, titled Accessing Subconscious Waves Through Twisted Pair Electroencephalography. Electroencephalography. That's my guess. The highly tactical paper caused some... People to say bullshit loudly. <laughs> ...controversy in the neuroscience community was ridiculed by many experts in the field. The paper was the source of some local tumult as well. This paper was written entirely by Dr. Bullard, said one Oakley student who did not wish to give his name. Washington <laughs> just put his name on it and took all the credit. Bullard, who retired from the school last year, could not be reached for comment. Graham Washington claimed credit for a research paper that Bullard wrote. Wow, Graham. Wow. Write your own paper, dork. Dork. A dork. <laughs> it's bird time. This is a work order ordered by Cynthia Peckman. There's some packing labor. There's transportation and storage. There's materials. Client wishes to keep large items unpacked for sale at auction. Do not pack contents of guest bedroom, second floor left side, not owned by client. Client is still looking for key to first floor study. We'll provide by 926. All expensive looking items are to be packed separately for immediate sale. Who judges expensive looking? I guess the the people she hired. Judge it. Judge Rooney's. Should I like try to open these windows now? Before this jerk shows up? It's raining. I know the highway is out there somewhere, but I can't see it from here. Cool. You getting wistful from the highway? Cool thing to say. All right, let's go back into this room, I guess. Ch 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 wait. wait. The fireplace. Wait. Wait. You, have to, you can't. You're locked into moving in this direction now. The fireplace. I would love to get a painting of my face and just hang it in my house. But make sure it's just like the weirdest, most creepy version of your face yeah. possible. Put on your special mask. My special eyes. Oh, ah. it's a skull! Spooky skull face! Oh, he's sad. Oh, there's something in the floorboards. The telltale heart. The telltale heart. He's a sad boy. He is a sad boy. The fireplace has been used recently. In the, in the summer? summer? Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> A fireplace poker. Oh, do you get to stab the guy with it? Oh, well, I fucking hope so. Oh, I probably just lift these floorboards with it, don't I? You should stab the guy with Bless it. Bless you. Lucy goosey. 
Okay, we'll do it. There's a hidden space under the floorboards. Well, there would have been either way. Yeah. <laughs> you just ripped open the floor. <laughs> Damn, girl. Egg. Star square well, plus plus circle. egg. Um, it's waves. The uh, the fifth element symbol. Okay, we we don't know the code for this at this juncture. What? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to get out. Get out. Well, we probably get it from this thing, right? Unless the bottles are in that thing. The bottles are probably in that thing. All right. So hold on. Maybe with my special eyes. Use your special eyes. Who's gurgling? Oh, there's Fireplace. something in the fire. Check the ashes. Yeah, people point it out that when you put on the mask, it sounds real wet. Yeah, it does. The hearth is covered in ash. Is something written here? I don't fucking know, girl. Figure it out. Let's broom it. Broom it. I don't know why you had to put it in your pocket just to take it out again. There's a series of faint symbols. Star, star circle square. Star egg square. You don't know what an egg looks like. <laughs> you really don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm becoming more and more convinced. Star I've seen you eat egg. eggs. You eat an egg every Friday. I do eat an egg every Friday. Your Friday egg. There's an old metal key. Great. Bill, <laughs> I owe you many thanks for forwarding my request to the New York Times. I think we have the opportunity to tell one of the great science stories of the 20th century and make a considerable sum in the process. The Times is a great first step, and when we are finished, I want to have headlines written about me on the front page of every paper in the country. Country. <laughs> The key, I was really minimalizing the scope in which he wanted to have success. I thought he was going to read county. <laughs> country. He said country. In the country. He shot it bigger, you know what I mean? The key to our success is ours for sprint research. He has discovered something fundamental about the operation of subconscious brain waves, and I believe that he will soon harness this knowledge to build a device whose object is to make men superhuman let's make the captain america our first task is to procure this device before bullard can publicize it and my plans for accomplishing that are already in motion once the device is in my hand i can i'm confident that i can reproduce it <laughs> upon his work that mr mitchell is where you come in an invention of this magnitude must not be consigned to the boneyard of the academic journal, it deserves praise and recognition from the common man. <laughs> we will make it the story of the year, and then we will sell the technology to those rich enough to meet our price. For now, we wait for Muller to finish the device, and then we will make our move. I look forward to continued cooperation in this mutually beneficial partnership. Best regards, Grand Washington. <laughs> <laughs> you read it in such a way that made it impossible <laughs> to understand any <laughs> single sentence. Yeah. Why do we erase all of our previous notes and then write mm, another Those note? are wrong. No, let's, you know what, let's update that with something completely irrelevant to the other one. Oh, all right. You found the safe combination. Great. So now you have the key. To what? To this room. I have room, a key. This room over here. I do I open it to this room? Right? I mean, probably. I don't want the spooky kabuki man to be back. He's gonna come back. He's gonna get you. Oh, I hate this room. It's the kitchen. The spooky kabuki man is absolutely going to come back and try to get you. That's his job. I don't like him, though. Someone was in a rush to pack this stuff. Sausage ripping.
It probably works. It probably works. <laughs> okay. You gonna cook something? You thinking about it? I don't want the spooky kabuki man to put on your mask. Put on your happy monkey man mask. It really does sound very wet in this mask. Yeah, it's so bubbly. <laughs> nothing looks like a booby. <laughs> <laughs> Man, nothing bad happened in this room. Nothing bad. So I can't wait for us to die in it, you know what I mean? I don't I don't want this man to come back. It's a good question made to chat. How do they know what speed they were packing up at? <laughs> All we know for sure is that they did a bad job. A coffee can that's frozen shut. Something's rattling around Ooh. inside. Open it, <laughs> Ben. I heard bad noises, so I immediately started to move. All right. I think it's it'll only happen in like you know certain set pieces. Put it on the stove. It probably works. It probably works. Can you put it on the stove? No. It doesn't light up. Oh. She really can't just, like, wait until it is less frozen? No, because there's a spooky man that wants to kill us. Freaking creepy crawly man. Spooky kabuki. Oh, I bet I you have to put, put it, it under, under the, the water. Hmm, Turn on the, the hot water, cold. dingus. Yeah. Wow, that just flew off. That's some hot ass water. Christie's coffee. What's inside? Looks like a blank sheet of paper. Why was that rattling around? Why could we hear that? Is there something special about it? A blank page. I'll write your name. Do we have to like steam it or something? Can you look at it with your spooky mask? No, I can't do both. A small knob. All right, calm down. Don't waste water. Waste not, want not, as they say. All right, I'm gonna go over here and get got by the guy. You gotta look at the paper right there. There's a paper there. I can't. You went too far. Listen, I'm trying. Paper. Got it. Bobby, here's a <laughs> list of supplies this week. I know you're angry that I haven't paid in a month, but please wait a little bit longer. I have some money coming, and I'll be able to pay you soon. Beans, cigarettes, tonic water, white bread, butter, eggs, copper wire, soldier, soldier spool? Solder spool, vinyl tape, gasoline, butane, leeches, as many as you can get alive. With gasoline? Bullard owed him money. And right. he was kept making him get leeches. He hated that, probably. Just <laughs> said so many fucking leeches. I'm hearing some squeaking. Whimsy! If he had this much food, what was Bullard paying Bobby Sawyer to get? Leeches. P.D. James. P.D. James. That stands for Piss Dr. James. Piss Dr. James. That's another doctor in the po world. Po potato. Po potato. Po potato. Po potato. Okay. It's probably a spooky kabuki man. I mean, this is definitely going to get us murdered, right? Nice. The pisser. Oh, leeches. I found all the leeches that or someone has very black poo. <laughs> Some people do. Gotta check your digestion. Got too much iron in it. Or you recently took some Pepto-Bismol. Oh, wait, they were saying bottle labeled D. Get that I D think, bottle. I think they were just joking about a bottle labeled D. There's, D. A, there's a bottle of D. You did take it. A bottle of the letter D is printed on the label. You didn't Thank even take you the bottle of D. All. It's because it's one of those bottles we need for the thing. Yeah. Not that right. Bottle of D. I hate that there's a shower curtain in this room. Cold winter increases risk of exposure. Kansas City, Kansas, with temperatures below 20 uh, for most of the state, but warm, the depth of hypothermia are on the rise. Several deaths have already been attributed to the cold this year, including two hikers found south of Ottawa and a man in Wichita. December is one of the deadliest months, said Charles Manning, chief medical examiner at Ottawa PD. 
people don't realize how cold it's gotten and go out unprepared. Profound hypothermia occurs when a person's core body temperature drops below 98. <laughs> However, yeah, well, scientists do not yet understand why the deep cold kills some people and spares others. According to Manning, men are at greater risk than women, and the cold is particularly dangerous for thin people. Identifying death by hypothermia can be a challenge for very large space, said Manning. If the victim is found in snow with his clothes half off, then we know, but sometimes bodies aren't recovered. Until much later often without a mark on them. Scientists do not understand why some victims of hypothermia remove their clothing, a phenomenon called paradoxical undressing, while others do not. Last March, the body of a 30-year-old woman who had been missing for several days was found near Topeka. After failing to identify the cause of death, the coroner chalked it up to exposure to the elements. The easiest way to go safe is to not go out alone in the cold, especially at night. Dr. Manning, if you must go out, make sure that other people know where you're headed. <laughs> and <laughs> dress warmly. If you're in a car accident, stay in the car. Don't try to hoof it to the next town on your own. More to eleven. Excellent reading job. Thank you. You got all the words right, which is my favorite part. <laughs> Did I get something wrong? Yes. Did I? A bottle! A bottle. The letter A is printed on the label. That's the bottle where you put all your ass. And the other one's where you put all your dookie. Do, do, do. Da, da, da. That's all I want to say to you. This tub is full of leeches. This is disgusting. I guess the leeches are a recent addition. What's in the shitter? Oh, I found a piece of paper next to the shitter. This toilet is a lot newer than the house itself. H. Buller Daily Log, January 8th, 1956. As I sat idly by the window today, watching the snow slowly cover the fields, I remembered the story of the snow woman. I first encountered it in a thin volume of Japanese folk tales that somebody loaned to me at the base in Yokohama, and a decade later it is the only story from that collection that I can recall. The Snow Woman is a fascinating character. She is a monster, a murderer, a force of nature. Yet she has human qualities as well. Having fallen in love with a young man, she spares his life in order that she may appear to him later in another form and marry him. By telling her of his father's death, the man breaks a contract. But it's not just a contract between the man and the Snow Woman. It's a contract with the universe itself. It is what binds her to the mortal plane, allowing her to live as a human with the man she loves. By breaking his promise, he has destroyed her life. She is no longer able to remain with him or with her family, even if she should want to. It is no wonder she is angry. Do you want to play the rest of this game? I did, feel like you might move faster. Did he write me? this while he was pooping? Yeah. He was just thinking about, you know, ghosts that marry people. No, you're doing good. Yeah? Keep, keep it up. Okay. I, um... So I want to make sure we end on time. Oh, the bigger review. Johnson City, Texas. President Johnson boned up. I don't think I care about this new okay. article. The Supreme's baby love remains at the top of the charts this week. Nice! Space Piggy said his daily log while dropping Wood his daily log. <laughs> he was pretty sneaky about it. No marks on the body, no sign of a struggle. Look at his face. Oh! It was that is an artist that wanted to paint that face one time. Yeah, and then just move the eyes. Yeah, and was like, oh, I can redo eyes, whatever. Of the crime. <laughs> Why, hello there. At me. Flashlight. Oh, I don't want to do a flashlight part. It's a flashlight. It doesn't have many batteries. That thing Ooh. does, though. That machine has batteries. There's nothing There's in the sink. There's nothing in the sink. Don't be ridiculous. This is real. <laughs> I could die here. Leave. <laughs> Just ordinary soap, baby. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, you have the safe combination. You oh, can go I do. Upstairs to the safe. Oh! The mask is gone. Someone took the mask. One of the masks is missing. Hmm. All right. I really don't want to encounter this dude again. The spooky kabuki man is gonna show up. I don't want to encounter him again, though. I'm nauseous. You're nauseous? I'm nauseous. The door's closed to the left. It's always closed. They close automatically. I had too much to eat, and then I had hot chocolate, and now I'm nauseous. Why do you do this to yourself? And now if the spooky kabuki man shows up again, I'm gonna... You're gonna barf? I'm gonna barf. Oh, he's in the painting now. The spooky kabuki man is in the painting. What? How'd he get in there? I don't know. What's he doing in that thing? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, it's really dark in this room now. The night is falling. Oh. The monkey. The monkey. He is the monkey. The monkey's here. With his chattering teeth. Wait, I've seen this before. I'm pretty sure this wasn't here the first time I came in. Somebody must have put it here. Woodcutter? I, for some reason I read that as, I know it's just Tony, but it's still really bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Tony. It's just Tony. Don't even worry about it, it's just Tony. I'm gonna see something in this mirror. No, I'm not. That was a lie. Uh -huh. Good joke. Who's open the safe? Good joke, Julia. That's why we came up here. I know. What was the the thing? You gotta pull up the combination. I saw something in the reflection. I didn't like it. Left 20, right 50, left 10. 20, 50, 10. 20, 50, 10. 20, 50, 10. 20, 50, 10. 20, 50, 10. Uh, left. Oh, Jesus. 20. So left to 20. Right to 50. Left to ten. <gasps> Sweet Lord. Martin Bros Construction receipts for services rendered. They got paid a thousand dollars to do some shit. To do some such shit. Paid in full. Steel siding and insulation for specification. Ran electrical for fans and evaporator under floor to connect to main line and basement. Compressor, evaporator, freon tank, and ventilation installed and tested. Replaced standard door handle with locking variety. As per customer's request. Hmm, why lock or seal like this away? Good question. Joel! This is the only remaining copy of our research materials. I destroyed the rest. Take this and get out of here. After I'm gone, they'll turn this house upside down looking for answers. Josie, I know about the secret room behind your wardrobe. If you've stashed anything there, you must get rid of it. I've already cleaned out the freezer. I'm counting on you. Take the files, destroy the machine, and get out of here. Harris. Are we going behind this wardrobe? Yeah, we are. Because I got that knob. You have the knob. Do you think I could go this way, or do you think that asshole is going to come after me? I think we should... Is there anything else in the safe? There's another paper there. You're right. The Lunar Dreams Apparatus, altering the brain to achieve permanent idiofocus. William Benjamin Carpenter's work describing the Carpenter effect over a century ago continues to baffle psychologists today. We have struggled to understand the linkage between the conscious and the subconscious, particularly the ways in which the subconscious mind seems to wield special knowledge of which the conscious mind is unaware. Our research attempts to give the conscious mind unfiltered access to all of the information stored in the subconscious by creating an artificial bridge between the two. NASA guy, you taking notes? Or lady, NASA person. I'm sorry. I'm just, just skimming this to see if it yeah is matters. It talks about the full moon, construction of the apparatus. It's a thing to make dreams real. Co-author Josephine, Josephine Herrera. Herrera. The lunar dream apparatus. Um. Make your dreams come true. 
All right, are we going through this door? We have to, to get to the wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> Good, yeah, I'm glad take, you're taking notes. Take that info back to NASA. Yeah. Runcible Shaw. Tell NASA. I heard steppies. So did I. I'm not happy about I heard it. Stippy steppies. This is like uh, oh, the light we cannot see. Tu comprends? It is like that. Oh, um, I need the flashlight. This must be what we need the flashlight for. We gotta go get that battery. I don't, I don't wanna encounter the man again. You have to encounter the man sometime. That's part of life. I don't wanna. I'm so nauseous. Do you want me to play? I might. I can if you want me to. <laughs> Dr. Discord said, that's a lot of light you can't see. <laughs> Spooky kabuki. Spooky kabuki. Who's that man, that spooky man? He's the spooky kabuki. Spooky kabuki. I mean, he's gonna be in here one time, right? If you were in there with all the leeches, that would be very funny. He's like, ah, oh, god, ah, gross. It was that way, right? Yeah, it's back from this way. Were we supposed to check out this freezer, or was it another no, freezer? Check out this freezer. But it said, check out the freezer. Was there another freezer? Oh, it was the basement freezer. Well, we got the secret special invisible note out of there. I know, but it still said investigate or whatever. Well. 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 Spooky kabuki. Spooky kabuki. All right. Can you get the battery out of it? Um, yeah. All right. We probably have to have them all. What did it, did she say? Something like you, you can't get the battery. The door is stuck. You have anything to open the door with? Maybe it's released when I do this. Yeah, use the thing. I think we need to have all the bottles before we can begin this experiment. <sighs> so we must like have to do the experiment maybe before it will release to us the battery. Yeah, like I'm thinking. So we need the other bottles. I need the other two bottles. Uh, can we use the knob? Will the knob help us open the door? Nope. You just click it anyway, just for the sake of... No. It don't work. <sighs> There's a paper in the bathtub, Gizmo the Hedgehog says. Oh, is it? Did you go in that door on the left? This door? Yeah. That's the basement. Oh, we need a flashlight you for that. We definitely need a flashlight for that. It's too dark. That's the bedroom. Harris Bullard, I am Woodcutter. You will complete your research and then hand it to me or we can discuss the South Pacific in 1944, which I know is boring. I really love history. Spooky kabuki. Spooky kabuki. It's full of dishes. <sighs> Go to the bathtub. I'm going. Oh, you're right.
It's chapter 14 of the Crystal Cave. Great. We rounded the corner and Johnson stopped dead like he'd been given an electric shock. I about ran into him, cursing before I heard it. From somewhere far ahead, deep in the darkness, somebody was singing. A woman's voice. It echoed off the crystal walls and then seemed everywhere at once. The song was so faint. I listened hard but couldn't make out the words. The melody was odd, ghost-like. But it was definitely a person singing. Johnson turned and looked at me but didn't say anything. We both understood. Somebody was down there. Somebody who must know the way out. We were saved. We broke into a run then. Johnson cradling his arm as we tried to cross the forest of crystal, scrambling over translucent beams of amethyst, big as fallen redwoods. Mm -hmm. I slipped, hit the smooth surface hard, got up again. We followed the woman's voice deeper and deeper into the cave. Jimmy got to the plateau first. I could tell before I made the rise that something was wrong. In the middle of the mesa was a sort of hatch, like something off the deck of a submarine. It was round and made of steel, and sticking out of it was a metal locking wheel. The woman's song drifted up from it like smoke. I looked back at Johnson as I grasped the handle. He was out of breath, still clutching his wrist where his hand had been, trying to keep the cloth tourniquet tight around the stump. He nodded, and I gave it a turn. His stump hand? <laughs> We got the bottles out of there. What's next? Should I look it up? Yeah. Let me check the drawer of uh, things that just like to appear. Oh yeah, maybe it appeared in there. Dead secret walkthrough. A full guide. Wow. Give me the guide, boy. Free my soul. I wanna get lost in the rock and roll. Uh, second story. Forest of Dreams. Ground floor. Got the handprints, got the newspaper clippings. Tidy up the ashes, yep. Yep, you got. Loosen the floorboards, correct combination. Find an old key. Into the kitchen. Ugh, I need to find bottles to bottle the leeches. And what's the old key go to? Oh, we used it. So apparently you can use the blank page with the, the oven. Oh. All right. I think it just gives you a, a secret message. Oh, I also found a piece of paper that we just haven't picked up. Dear Harris, Happy New Year. I suppose I'm wasting my time by writing you again, but the New Year always makes me think about the past. I was very upset when you did not respond to my last letter. I was told that you refused my calls at the college. I understand that you are still angry, and for that I cannot fault you. But unlike you, I have gotten past our little meltdown. I've grown to see it as the inevitable terminus of our relationship, something that had to happen sooner or later. Like spilt milk, as they say, it's not worth crying over. But I do have a request. I will make it plain. Harris, I need money. Some of my investments went bad last year, and with Kennedy in the White House, soon the others will certainly fail. You... Kennedy! may hate me now, but I cannot believe you will consign me to a life of poverty. Somewhere deep down inside you under that mask you wear in your daily life. Is it the monkey one? <laughs> I know you must still feel something for me. Please say you'll help me. Just this once, put down the mask and trust your feelings. Humbly and sincerely, Cynthia. Or is it the Oni mask? Cynthia Peckman, overbullied, but wants money for her gambling debts. So we got the empty bottle there. We got the toilet thing. We got the flashlight. You use your small knob on the middle drawer in the study. 
Oh, let's do this first. I tried this. It and said then use it... like the leftmost knob. Oh. The knob. Oh, let's set this shit on fire. It's a long shot, but maybe there's more to this page. I had a message appeared. I can't believe that worked. Dear Josie. <laughs> Thank you for the lemon juice. This is my first time writing a secret message and I hope it works. I just, I thought it was so charming, <laughs> the idea of writing a secret message. I just wanted to try it. Today I brought Bullard his weekly groceries and again he refused to pay. It's been over a month. He claims that he's broke, but I don't believe him. My family has bills to pay too and you know he'd never send a white boy away without payment. I can't stand this. My ma listens to Dr. King on the radio nearly every week, and she says we've got to be vigilant but peaceful. But I'm tired of being peaceful. If somebody doesn't pay you for your work, I think you should take action. Woik. Maybe this accent wasn't the right choice for this message, but I'm locked into it now. <laughs> Next time I come around, Bullard's going to pay his tab, or we're going to have some woids. Maybe more than woids. Don't worry about me, though. I'll come prepared. Bobby. Bobby. Alright, we're gonna kill ourselves on the stove. So, right. back to the study. Back to the study. The study. The study. Book to the study. Where am I using the knob? It's the on. Middle drawer? On the desk? Um. It says to open the middle drawer. Okay. It says look above the. Oh yeah, look above the bookshelf on the right to see the mask is missing. Yep. Um, head to the entry. Oh. Use your small knob on the middle drawer. Okay, yeah, entry. yeah, yeah. I think as I've gotten older, I've become more of a, of a wimp with spooky games. So I just... The knob fit! It's just a gun. That's the e-bottle. All right. Uh, okay, so we opened the safe. Mm -hmm. uh, we read all the stuff. Yeah. Oh, apparently the last bottle was in the safe. In the top compartment of the safe. All right. Is Spooky Kabuki still in the photo? In the painting? I think he is. I think I see him. Well, we know he's not chasing you if he's in the painting. Because he's in the painting. What if he grabs me from the painting? A la Velvet Buzzsaw. Oh my god, that movie sucked. <laughs> that movie did suck. It was fun, though. In a very cheesy way. It should have been more fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> did you moonwalk? No, she like spun around half walk. It was amazing. There's like drawers in here. Oh. Uh... There right. it is. Cool. Is he coming after me now? Uh, apparently you can explore Josie's wardrobe room now. Even though it's dark in there, you can still explore it. Why would I want to? It's very small. You'll be able to find something in there. Oh, okay. So I should just get it done with? Yeah. Okay. Is um the spooky guy going to come at me? Uh, No. Okay. Not as far as I know. Does the guide say when he's gonna, like, kill me? Uh, I don't know. It says work your way to the right. Yeah, I'm working. To find a secret room. On the stream, you really can't see anything. Yeah, <laughs> I apologize to everyone. We can barely see... We can see... hardly see anything. It's a triangular room. Oh, Go, keep it going. I'm going. This is really very all the light we cannot see. Right? Yeah, it is. Damn, look at this room. Why am I getting, like, stuck? Oh, there's a eyeball thing on your right. Yeah, I see that. Oh! Jesus! What was the point of that? Why did she flip it up and stare through it so fast? Whoa! 
I really want to see. Nothing spooky behind here. Whoa. Nothing spooky has happened to me all day. I'm going to look through it really fast. Let me get my face right in there. I'm convinced there's a hole. I'm going to open it and show my face in. Oh, that's funny. Uh, look at the book on the nightstand to get the diary. Dear diary, I was thinking about dad today. I finally got some confirmation from the insurance company, which fills some blanks. Here's what I know so far. Oh, boy. Dad went to war in 1940 to the Philippines. He had some minor in injury and was discharged in 1944. He was the only member of his unit to survive, the rest having died in a submarine. Nice. In 1946, his parents' home in, Ill in Illinois, Illinois. <laughs> burned down and he turned up to collect the insurance payout. Illinois. At least somebody did. He didn't have any other family, so it must have been him. But after that, I can't find any trace of him. Then, in 1952, the name Harris Bullard turns up in the footnotes of a research paper from Oakley College. Is this Dad? After... Wait, where did I get the word after? Oh, it's the next line down. If so, what was he doing in the years after the war? Maybe he went abroad. There are some inconsistencies. Dad studied physics, not neuroscience. And Dr. Harris Bullard of Oakley College seems to have a chemistry background. There couldn't have been two Harris Bullards at the UFC in 1930. Could there? I thought you said in the UFC. The UFC! <laughs> um, the scariest thing for me is that Dr. Bullard looks nothing like the one photo I have of my father. Okay. In the photo, his face looks different, and he's not so tall and skinny. Of course, he could have been younger, as the photo was taken before I was born. But maybe it's not Dad in the photo at all. I changed my major to neuroscience and moved out here with one purpose. To figure out if Dr. Harris Bullard of Grove, Kansas... Grove. <laughs> ...is the man who promised to marry Mama in 1939. It's been two years and I'm still not sure. I don't have the guts to ask him. What if I'm wrong? Oh my god, she went through so much. What will that make me? To find out if this guy was her dad. Instead she of just showing just up being like, are you my dad? She's like, I'll be your live-in assistant and learn neuroscience. Yeah. Bring it Sabrina, figure your shit out. I think the easy answer is no, he's just not your father. Wow. Wow. Also, safety hazard, fire hazard, right there. It's a battery. I need two. <laughs> Battery, battery. Okay. Josie, Dear Josie Diary. Got a letter from the Herreras today. They are good parents, even if they aren't my real parents. They sent the letter to me at Dr. Bullard's address, which means they know I'm living here. I wonder if they are worried. The whole town seems to have decided that the only reason I'd stay here is that I'm sleeping with him. I don't care what the small minded bumpkins around here think. Bumpkins. But I hope that the Herreras aren't worried. Maybe soon I can tell them what I'm really up to. Also, Bobby Sawyer gave me another draft of his novel. It's really weird, but I think it's pretty good. I've been typing up his manuscripts on Dr. Bullard's typewriter. I'm fixing mistakes and making little edits as I go. When he's done... He's going to submit the typed version to Amazing Stories or Worlds of Tomorrow. I hope they publish it. I don't know if magazines will look at the work by a black author. Thanks, 1950s or 60s, whatever era we are in. Just great for everyone. Tomorrow, we run the first live test of the Lunar Dream apparatus. Dr. Bullard doesn't think it's going to work the first time. I hope it does. I volunteered to be the first test subject. Maybe after the treatment, I'll be able to understand what happened to Dad. All right, I think that's it for here. Yeah. Now we go back down. Should we uh, take a peek through through the hole again? Yeah, let's look at the monkey one more time. Yeah, y'all ready to look at the monkey again? Trigger warning: looking at the monkey again. <laughs> A trigger warning looking at this monkey. We're gonna look at this monkey again. Looking at this monkey in three, two, one. 
Content warning. Monkey's gone. Monkey's gone. Wow. I'm disappointed. Monkey, where did the monkey go? So now you're going back down to the bathroom to get leeches in the bottles. Leeches in a bottle. And then we're going back to the dining room to actually calibrate the device with the bottles and the leeches and whatnot. Okay. The spooky guy's not going to attack me, right? I don't know. I think that this is not telling me. I think that that would tell you because it has to tell us what to do. You know? Oh, that's you! Oh, I'm tapping my feet, sorry. Oh. Listen, you gotta go. We're running out of time. D you should play. I'm guiding you. You should play. I'm your guiding savior, your guiding life. You should guiding, play. We'd go. Light. We'd go faster if you'd play. Let me be your everlasting life. I can't believe I thought someone was walking around in the game, and I was like, "Oh no, he's back!" And I am going to be attacked. I think it would take me longer to play at this point because I don't. I haven't played at all, so I don't know how to move around as good. I'm just clicking. I'm I'm pointing to doors and clicking, but thank you. I kind of look like Meg Turney. Get leeches in the bottles. Leeches in a bottle. I filled each bottle with a leech. Bottles containing leeches. Four out of four. <laughs> Alright, back to the dining room, you said? Yeah, back to the dining room. We got tunes. We got jams. Is he playing the piano? No. Is the spooky kabuki man playing the piano? Playing a spooky piano tune? Alright. I'm just gonna tell you the solution to this puzzle. Okay, do I have to weigh them? No, it's probably only if you actually want to figure it out, right? Yes. Okay. The order is... C-E-A-D. You it's gonna to, make like, me do, do the whole thing. Just type CEAD in there. <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> Put them boys in there. You missed. Oh, I missed. Wow, it's happening. Moon moved into position. Oh. You got the Lunar Dream Apparatus Collaborator. Great. Calibrator. Collaborator. Collaborator. Now you get the battery. Whoops. Flashlight's working. Yeah. Things are looking up. Okay. Um, what now? Now you go into the kitchen. Okay. Again. You're going to have to warn me be... if someone's going to attack me. I don't know. It says here's an opportunity for ending D again, so maybe. Oh, there he is. Go to the basement. Go the to the basement. Basement's the worst decision. You got to go to the basement. Spooky Kabuki Man coming. He's knocking on the door. I literally can't move. Better find the light switch. Ooh, he coming. Alright. I hate this. <laughs> okay, you're gonna circle around so you see a brick pillar with a switch on it. Uh, this way? Left or right, it says. Hey, now. You're an all star. Get Who was camera. doing laundry? <laughs> Spooky really? Kabuki Man?
Handprint. Ugh, I'm a stock photo. I've been giddy ever since. Who took this photo? Might be a murder case. Not even a broken arm could keep me down. But now that I'm here, the truth seems a lot more complicated. The story is my shot. Better make it count. Okay. Nah. So we're walking around at the speed of sound. Walking around at the speed there of it is. sound. On your right. Yeah, I found a hookah. You don't want to turn the light on first? Oh, yeah. There we go. Great. What am I doing now? Nearby, you'll find a simple chemistry lab. Found it. Examine the poster to get miscellaneous 1014 chemical flame test. Great. Got it. Great. Dunza. Underneath the nearby shelves, you'll find a record. Oh, dope. What we got? A 78. Nothing nice. printed on the label. All right. To the right of the lab, you'll see a long wood paneled wall with a crank sticking out of it. Turn the crank to see what it does and take it with you. Great. What am I doing now? Um, from the locked door, turn around and examine the shelves. So apparently that door will be locked. Okay. There's a padlock on it, in fact. Yep, see that? Examine the shelves. We got a, a letter from Cynthia. Which I'm sure says some really You cool join stuff. yourself, Harris. Does it excite you to shun me? I'm ashamed me? of you, Harris. Harris, you fucking... Do you fucking... smoke cigarettes and laugh about me? I know about you, Harris. You oh, suck, bah, dog. Bah, 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 Everyone's bah. ashamed of you, Harris. You... you cheated on me, bankrupt me, and deny me help in my hour of need. Are you not content? Do you think of no one but yourself? Can you really be the man I knew? My man's in Louisville. Refused my bet this year, Harris. If I can't play the races, I don't know how I'll survive. <laughs> Harris, just... I'm mad at you because I have a gambling problem. <laughs> Is that how that goes with people for addiction, though? Blame the fact uh, that there's they can't also continue. lemon juice apparently on the shelf. Got that it. Get. Um, head past the stairs to the laundry machines to get the newspaper clipping. Spring cleaning with chemistry. That's Great, fine. Moment. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. I don't want to waste time. Um, turn around and walk to the crates. This? Yep. On the top of one of them is a daily log. Daily log. Of resignation. He resigned from the college, moved his lab to his house. I'm uh, lucky that the house has such an interesting story. Josie came to the office. She was distraught. Her eyes were all smudged. And then... <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay. I thought that would turn the page, but it didn't. I got a thing of chemicals. You sure did. Okay, what's up? Now what? Uh, let's see. You got the the chemicals. Mm -hmm. uh, walk towards the familiar-looking wood-paneled wall and look on the ground for a somewhat camouflaged got it. miscellaneous letter. Seeing it. Eyeballing it. Creme for the last year. <laughs> Woodcutter. Above my research material, him came out. Uh, uh, you got the handprint already. Yep. Okay. What's next? This is like the only pause screen I got. So. Uh, the other wooden wall could be a secret door, like the first one. Look for a loose board in the same place you saw the crank socket. The other one, try the crank. <gasps> Graham Washington is the woodcutter. Wow. All right. <laughs> wow, that's a big reveal. I'm the woodcutter! I'm going over here? Yeah, go over there and, and jack the crank into the door, into the wall. Stank a crank in there. Stank a crank in there. Stank a crank in there. But it's too rusty to turn. Wow. Um, head to the chemistry lab, but take a moment to get the matches that were in the can that toppled when you passed by. I assume they mean that one, but it didn't topple. There it goes. There it goes. Wait, gotta go back. Snag the matches. Uh, borax and lemon juice combined make the appropriate compound. Um, but do you have any borax? Refer back to your documents to find a way to tell. 
Must be I have one to of these. Burn it. One of these unknown chemicals. You'll have to use the Bunsen burner to see the effects of your chemicals on the flame. Yep. Turn on the flame. Turn the valve beside the burner. Get that shit a going. Uh, use the matches to light the flame. Yep. Test the chemicals till you find the correct one. You just gotta try them out. Alright. Sodium. You know, gotta Lithium. say, probably don't just shove a bunch of chemicals in a fire. No, that seems right. Right, NASA? Right, NASA? NASA, we're, uh, looking at you. Light a fire, put all the chemicals, you don't know what they are, in the fire until you know what they are. Also, how is she putting these chemicals in the fire? She's just like... <laughs> Dumping them. No, that's about right. That's borax. Borax. All right. Combine the borax and the lemon juice in the uh, mortar and pestle there. I'm going to turn this off. Put the dang borax in there. Now you get a rust remover. My rust. <laughs> what? My rust. Use it on the crank socket. Okay, because it was borax, like borax. Oh, like borax, like borax, like borax, like borax, like borax. My rust. Like borax. <laughs> like borax. Oh, uh, God. Runcible, I'm just assuming you know all science. Yeah, when you do a science, you do all science. You do all right? science. My grandfather was a, a chemist. Uh, that means he did everything. Crank that. It's pronounced chemist. He is a chemist. That's right. Am I going into um, this uh, mine? Wait. What? Oh, you're going to need to answer like some more questions when you go through the hidden passage. Oh, all right. Good time to review my notes. Cynthia Peckman wanted money. 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 Why don't you get some money, honey? That's from Bioshock. Graham Wellington has a secret. He is woodcutter. Woodcutter. Bullard was being blackmailed about somebody named James Lowry. All right, we're getting an A in this class, my class. All right, secret passage time. Got really dark back there. Can we look forward while we walk, please? I was scared of the spooky guy. Going down the hallway under the house. What's the next parts of this? Oh, you just have to walk through this whole part. It's bats. Bats! It's bats! Um, but you are reading the next part, right? Yeah, like, is a, is a man, is a man gonna try to kill me? Oh my me? god, stop asking me about the man. I don't, I don't know when the I man I don't want to be murdered by the man. He literally won't tell me in this guide when the man is coming. Why? This looks like the end of the line. So now you're in the workshop. Head to the control panel and look around. What is what this? What is this? That looks like a <clears throat> hot water heater. Grandma has Head to the control those. panel and look around. Head to the control panel and look around. I'm going. On top of it, you'll find a daily lock. Dear journal. Dear journal, it's me. I, I built this crazy thing. If Woodcutter knew, he'd go crazy. Josie is going to be the first test subject. But Bullard knew that it wasn't going to succeed the first time. Ooh, I... Head right. to the other side of the huge pod. The boiler? The huge pod. Like the tank? On the far side of the canisters is a blank page. I see that. I just heard noises. On the floor, on the other side of the canister, is a hacksaw handle. 
Head back to the control panel, then turn right and climb the ladder. Now, in the corner, you'll find the crystal cave excerpt four or five. Oh, you opened the cage already. Mama, respectful always. Outrageous. Okay, you gotta, you gotta kick this into high gear. Simply you cannot sing this whole thing. It's we've been live for two hours and eighteen minutes. Oh my god. Okay. All no right. more fun. Look at the handprint. Graham Wellington wanted fame and glory. Josie Herrera wanted to find something precious. Cynthia Peckman wanted money. Bobby Sawyer wanted to be a writer. I wanted to get out of Kansas and start a real life. In the big city. <laughs> now I just want to see my mother again. You could have left a million years ago, but you hated doing that. Um, am I supposed to be getting this yeah, thing? Yeah, you pull the tray out and get it. Oh, I see. A sharp hacksaw blade. Now okay. we got a hacksaw. Great. Now what? Uh, go back to the control panel. Oh. Get Maybe grab that, I guess. Since you skipped it the first time. Yeah, we can't. We don't have time to read it. It, it was, was blood! blood. And cut the chain on the cabinet doors with your working hacksaw. What cabinet doors? What cabinet? Is there a cabinet underneath the control panel? Oh, with yeah. a chain on it? <laughs> she could do that with one arm? Yeah, she can do that. All right. All right, got it powered up. Flip the power switch. Yep. Place the Lunar Dream apparatus calibrator on the base on top of the panel. Okay. Activate the machine. You'll need to use the different levers in a specific order. Okay, tell me. Uh, second gray lever. Okay, from the left, I'm assuming. Yeah, I assume so. Okay. Um, third gray lever. Mm hmm First gray lever. Mm hmm Fourth gray lever. Mm hmm Red lever. That did it. It's oh, on. I think you're going to get attacked soon. Okay, where am I going? Hide in the pod. Oh, cool. We're just going to see him from here, huh? Oh, he coming. Spooky kabuki. <laughs> spooky warning. We're going to see a spooky guy. Hey, Hello! What's up? I'm in like a steel tube, motherfucker. Can you get me in here? Oh, he's gassing me. Yeah, we're about to go into the dream, the dream world. Oh, that's right. All right. The realm of dreams. Didn't like that. All right. Head down the hallway and turn right. Looks like we're in the PT house. Yeah, not loving that. We're snowing. Hypothermia in summer? Hypothermia in summer? You All can't right. go in any of these doors. Okay. Thank uh, you for telling me now, because I wanted to check. Yeah. Apparently this is an infinite hallway. Okay. So you'll keep walking for as long as you want, and then you can turn around and it'll be different. Okay. Is anything going to be behind me? No. Like a bad man? No, because you have to go that way. In reverse. Cool. Then you hang a right. And you go through the door. And you grab the weird statue from the floor. And then you turn around and head back the way you came. Oh, hey, everyone. I have some good chalk drawings. That's a Photoshop filter. Yeah, it is. Over the original drawings. <clears throat> I love these statues. Yeah. Oh! 
eerie yell scared me more than anything, actually. It's, I, I got spooked! I didn't know the man was gonna be there! Alright, what am I doing? I'm scared I'm gonna be attacked. Uh, there's a familiar switch on the wall next to you. Okay. Nothing happened. Maybe there's an any electricity here. Um, head to the right and get the large crank from on top of the boxes. This way? I assume to the right of the switch. This way. Large crank on top of the boxes. That's a newspaper. I've made a fortunate discovery. James Lowry. It's undeniably Bullard. Bullard isn't who he claims to be. Bullard's identity is fake? So that girl was right? That is her dad? Maybe. I don't see this crank anywhere. Chug. Well, you gotta find the crank. I'm looking. There's a thing. Harris died today. The whole squad. Gone. Oh, so mm. he became Harris when All Harris right. died. When Harris died. There's the crank. Found it. Uh, right. Turn right and walk past the casks. The, excuse me? The casks. The, past this? Oh, the casks. this way. Oh. Don't do that, spooky kabuki man. You suck, Spooky Kabuki. Ow. Um, okay. You, you got the daily log already yeah. that was over here. Yeah. Head to the right again, then approach the table in the middle of the room. All right. Grab the empty moonshine jug. And the newspaper clipping. Whoops. Roosevelt signs Cullen Harrison Act. Search under the pallet next to the generator for um, letter from Graham Bullard's identity. I think you already got that. Yeah, I did. Um, okay. Head to the corner to thing. find the business end of the still. Yeah. And get your moonshine. Get your moonshine. Get, get your moonshine, baby. Yeah. Head back to the generator. Pull the moonshine. Attach the crank. Give it a spin. What? Put the moonshine in the generator. Where's the generator? Behind you. This thing? No, behind you. That's a cask. That way. This way. Oh, this thing. This giant generator. I don't know what else to call it. I don't know. Put the moonshine in it. <sighs> okay. 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 Keep spinning me around. You spin me right round, baby. Do I have to get, like, closer? Oh. Okay. Now, attach the crank. Okay. And give it a whirl. Now you can exit the gate. Hello. I got the power working. Oh. Flip it a switch. There's a dead dude here. That's fine. <gasps> Look at his hand! Oh my god! Unbelievable! <laughs> Unbelievable! We got got! How fucking dare you, dude? How fucking dare? That's that's fucking Willoughby or whatever his name is. Washington? Graham Whistle Graham Whistleby. He's dead! I gotta get out of here! He's dead in a really strange way and he fucking <laughs> got me! Got him! Alright, I'm getting out of here? He got me big time! Yeah, get out of there. Okay. I can't believe he got us. Okay, head back to the house. I don't want to. Okay. Okay. Um, this one? So we're gonna go back in the house. There's some coyotes out here. Remove the thing from the doorknob. Okay. What's after that? 
And then we'll have to answer some questions again. Put okay. the pieces together. The dead man in the underground room was Graham Wellington. Grizzleby. The truth about Harris Bullard is... He's an imposter. That's it. Seems like Bullard's entire life's forgery. He went on to cause a lot of trouble in the past. Why? The man we know as Harris Bullard is really... James Lowry. All right. A few more riddles to solve. Wow. What was that? Okay, what are we doing? Um, now you're going to want to go through the bathroom to the study. If you like, you can play your record on the record player in the corner for a little music. <laughs> I'd be worried about a uh, copyright takedown of our video. Boom. No, we, you got to put the jams on, though. Yeah? I just want to know what they sound like. I was worried about, you know, takedowns. I don't think it's going to be like... Sounds like my record player. Hello? I love how this music's so fucking quiet and every other music in the game is blaringly loud. Yep. Um, okay, head <laughs> over to the map and put the weird statue on the base with its friend. <laughs> yeah, Resnick pointed out that I'm worried about copyright takedown, but I'm constantly singing. <laughs> Yay! Smokey looks like kind of used for a padlock. Okay, what's next? Uh, take the padlock key and the miscellaneous letter that's also in that drawer. Okay. Yeah, Harris, I understand. I understand why you've not responded to my previous letters. Found someone else who don't love me anymore. I understand. That's fine. You're a vile man, whatever. How could you do this to your own child? Our child. The child you have never m even met. Okay, what's next? What's next is now we can unlock the freezer in the basement. I have to go back into the basement? That's where the freezer is. The basement freezer. Rosanna Turner! Rosanna. Alright. On your way through the kitchen, though, use the blank paper as you did before to reveal Bobby's secret message, too. <laughs> she always looks like she's judging herself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, too real. Okay. We had another page that we got. Gatiti said I actually got a copyright claim for a song in the Overcooked stream. <laughs> really? You never know with these things. Most of the time it just demonetizes your video, though. Oh, I have to do the thing. Why can't we hear the music better now? Dear Josie. I sent the documents to Washington. They sent a telegram covering your suspicions. James Lowry and Harris Bullard both served in the same Navy unit. Lowry's listed as MIA and presumed dead. Talked on the phone. Roseanne Turner went and sent me the file. Was the one was a research for a book. Gave me some details. The one was apparently strangled by a burglar. But the weird thing is that nothing of value was stolen. Just a box of old documents by the looks of it. The okay, case went cold in 1946. Josie, I don't know who these people are or what you're up to with this research all of a sudden, but this is getting scary. If you're in trouble, you give me the word and I'll make sure Bullard never bothers you again. Bobby, you're so nice. Okay, going downstairs? Uh, yep. I really thought that music would stop when I left the room. That way. Thanks. Now you can just hear it wherever the fuck you go now. It's haunting me now. Um, they are saying... What? This is your last chance to collect any documents that you may have missed. I'm fine. Um, okay. We're over time, so... Um, look at the shelf. Okay. Proceed into the freezer. Okay. <laughs> look okay. at the shelf on your right. For the final musings. Hypothermia. Kills in a matter of hours and It's really the no same mark. computer voice. Hypothermia. Bullard died in his freezer. Or was it James Lowry? Now that I've gathered all the pieces, I just need to put them together. 
a scientist with a past, a dead colleague, an ex-wife down on her luck, a girl with no father, and a boy with no future, a snow woman, a full moon. Now I just need to get out of here alive. Okay. What's next? So now we can get either of the three endings. Oh my god. Just enough with that. Behavior, spooky kabuki man. I just saw his coat in his hands. <laughs> How did you even get in here? Um, I don't think he's going to do anything to you. Okay. Continue. So we're going to have to choose the correct suspect, and then there's like actions you can do to get different endings. We probably want to get the best ending. Okay. So yeah. the correct suspect will be Josie Herrera. Wow. You need to continue playing. I mean, but... All right, I'm just going to look at him. Yeah. Warning for everyone. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right. I'm continuing. Continue. Proceed down the tunnel until you reach a room with four portraits and four keys. This is a rad song. I would love if the record was still playing. Oh, cool. Just going to my dungeon. Down into my dungeon. My dungeon. My dungeon. Get down in the dungeon. I would literally quit being a reporter and become like a kindergarten teacher. Yeah. For only nice kindergartners. Yeah. What? Now, what's the point of this? <laughs> this is a stupidly built room. Okay. Alright. So, we're gonna take Josie's key. This woman. Yes. So, Josie killed Harris. Josie killed Harris. Killed Ferris Bueller. So, take Josie's key. Okay. And then you will open the door with it. Now we will um, make our way through the inferno until we see her collapsed under burning wreckage. Okay. And we will uh, pull debris off of her and help her out of the building. Jesus. Alright, fridge. <laughs> hi, monkey. Oh, hi, monkey. Again, I'm sure playing this in VR. So, yeah, help like, her out. Like, unspeakably spooky. Why are we and we to get ending S. Creep me out, moon lady. Big-ass smoke. So she did burn down all the research, I guess, like she was told to. Oh, that end. is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did she kill the dude? Yeah, she would have done it. Mm. I barely managed to pull Josie from the house as Why'd she burned the ground. All of Bullard's she was abandoned? Was that feels weak. We'll find out maybe in this ending. Burned with it. Probably because Josie he killed Herrera her mommy. was arrested for the murders of Harris Bullard and Graham Wellington. My story of blackmail, murder, and my narrow escape from a deranged killer made headlines. In the big paper! In January, I start at the Chicago Tribune. The big city. I never told them about James Lowry or that Josie's last name is really Turner. Those secrets are mine alone. Why didn't you just report on the whole story? Yeah. The house is burning down because you all didn't turn off the stove. <laughs> did I not that last time? I did the first time. I think you did. We did it. We solved the mystery of Harris. That we did. Also, very quick shout out to Gatiti. Um, our old streams are on an unofficial YouTube channel. Gatiti's taking care of it for us. Yes. So thank you, Gatiti. Thank you, Gatiti. Um, and thank you, everyone who joined yeah. in this. 
And Gatiti's found some of the real old ones. Yeah, like so our original Original human, human fall, fall flat. flat. And I know that some of the old monster prom ones are showing up now. So, yeah. really cool. Very so cool. So if you ever want to see some of the really old streams or, you know, ones that are no longer on VOD, that would be the place to do it. Yeah. We should probably put a link in the yeah we will in the thing i'll put a link in the thing eventually cool all right um we I did think, it i think that's it good gaming y'all we uh may or may not be streaming on sunday yeah we'll see it's a busy weekend so it could go yeah. either way so um but we'll let you know we'll write in in the twitter um if we do stream see you sunday if we don't see you wednesday yeah we'll let you know what we're doing yeah and, uh, again, thank you for joining us, everyone, and, um, have a good night. Goodbye. Goodbye.